Hi friends, when do you sell a stock? Four choices here. Number one, when the price drops. Number two, when the price goes up. Number three, when my donkey tells you to sell. Or number four, when the fundamentals change. Which is the correct answer? I give you five seconds. So the correct answer is four. For Illumina, I mentioned in three different videos, I was selling most of my positions before the earnings. So I had like 400 stocks and I sold 300 before earnings. Remaining 100, I showed you my life account. I bought it at many different levels, like all my stock. I bought it at about nearing 300, then before the COVID crash, during the crash, and my average buying price is about 227. And I sold nearing $400. After selling, the stock price dropped. Look, some of you may think my sense of timing is crazily accurate, but I just need to be clear, it's just a pure luck. In the stock market, you don't get to win all the time. I took some time to digest the results of Q2 2020, and here are my opinions. So re the revenue which were down, which is a big surprise. So let's come to Hypercharts, my favorite website for stock information. So Illumina, the revenue and operating income dropped drastically in Q2 2020. Net income dropped. Uh, margins drop. While everything was dropping, the stock price went up, thus bringing up the market cap for Illumina. This means the company is a little bit more overvalued. I thought during a pandemic like this, more sequencing will be done. This is a big red flag. Though Illumina has like 95% of market share sequencing base pairs worldwide, I believe that their position is going to be challenged when the CEO said that he will bring the cost down during Q2 2020, meaning the competition is catching up. Illumina has enjoyed this strong position for a long time and have not been passing the cost savings down to its customers. And this pisses me off because the focus should be on growth and not profits. I understand profits are important, but I believe when there's too much profits, it's a little bit stupid. So growth should always be the main focus. Competition is heating up from Pacific Bioscience and China's BGI. So in this video up here, I actually explain how Illumina does its sequencing versus the competition. I did it in a very simple manner you can understand. So in that video, I also covered like how Pacific Bioscience does sequencing. Different methods, but all methods pointing to one end result. Accurate reads and driving down the cost as much as they can. I have some insider information, but I just want you to know that uh, Pacific Bioscience is looking really promising. While Illumina's systems are so much cheaper and more efficient, if the genome is complex, it may fail to recognize certain type of like mutations. I did explain in that video too. While Pacific Bioscience SQL 2 systems is more expensive, it can overcome the shortfalls of the short reads. Hmm, you get it? Short read, shortfall. Anyway, if you take a look at this image, Hi-Fi reads is more accurate for complex genomes. Hi-Fi reads is the output of Pacific Bioscience SQL 2 systems. This is where Illumina is good at. As the read gets longer and longer, it gets less accurate. So for long reads, this is where Pacific Bioscience was at. So for Hi-Fi reads, it's like the best of both worlds. You can have long reads while maintaining high accuracy. While Illumina profits are down, China BGI Genomics reports surging profits. Adding on to the pressure, recently on August 12th, Chinese genetics company BGI uh, can continue to develop its uh, DNA sequencing products as it appeals to the scope of preliminary injunction that gave Illumina total control of the US market for the technology. Yeah, things are not looking good for Illumina. While I believe they are still in a strong position, that's why the stock price has remained steady and having such a huge mode Looking at the industry like moving forward, it's just too much for me alone to research into every genomics company. I agree with this uh, tweet reply I got. Biotech is just too complicated for me to understand. Diversification should be a good choice in this case. So I bought 420 stocks of ARKG. Why 420? You should understand by now. So ARK is awesome at what they do. I'll let them handle it. So while diversifications will definitely bring like lower returns. So Biotech is just too complicated and I just want to invest in the sector knowing the revolution is coming our way. So concluding this video, among the four companies I'm invested in, mainly Tesla Square, Lemonade and Illumina. Illumina is the only donkey with like revenue dropping in Q2 2020. So the fundamentals has changed as explained above. As Q2 2020 shows the weakness of the company fundamentally and the CEO focus on profits over growth, I'm actually just selling my remaining positions. 
I do so knowing that there is a high probability the stock price will hit $400 again as their market position is still like very very strong. I'm bullish DNA sequencing and, and I bought into like uh, ARKG uh, and ARK Invest ETF focusing on the next generation medicines. As usual, I will just like dollar cost average over time. I'll let ARK Invest do all the work researching while I shift my brain space to invest in like other companies. Anyway, thanks for the early like. I hope you appreciate the updates and as always, invest safe.